30 people who have lost loved ones to distracted driving went to the state house today to demand answers. They want to know why a hands-free driving law is just stuck in the legislature. When Maine's law goes into effect tomorrow, Massachusetts will then be the only state in New England still allowing handheld phone use. WBC's Anaritis Rodriguez has the story. My father was killed in 2011 by a driver who was programming her GPS. Tom Branley lost his daughter in 2012. The cemetery is only eight houses away. I go up once or twice a day. Uh, I haven't missed a day in six years. Today, safety advocates met with Senate President Karen Spilka to find out what's holding up a law that would ban handheld phone use when driving. They didn't get an answer that satisfied them. Emily Stein heads the Safe Roads Alliance. The legislature is is um, is dragging their feet, and and we're going to really hold them accountable. Both the House and the Senate passed hands-free bills recently. They went to a conference committee to work out the differences. Where's the bill now? Sitting on this counter in the House clerk's office. The three state reps on the committee signed off on it. The three senators did not, meaning it can't move forward. I love this bill. I want to get it done. But State Senator William Brownsberger, a member of the conference committee, says the Senate is not satisfied with the bill yet. It's not for me to choose when to sign that bill. It's something that the Senate uh, leadership team needs to be satisfied with. The sticking point appears to be the bill's requirement to collect race, gender, and other demographic information about anyone who is stopped for illegal phone use, with a big concern over the potential of racial profiling. In a statement, Senate President Spilka says this bill has been and continues to be a top Senate priority. I am very hopeful it will be resolved soon. The Safe Roads Alliance proposed to split the draft bill in half. They want the hands-free part implemented right away, while the legislature continues to work out on how to collect and use the demographic information. Liam? Anna Redis Rodriguez, live in studio. Thank you, WB.